Call of Duty is one of the most polarizing franchises in video games, especially on an internet that th seems to think it's only possible for something to either be complete shit or a gift from God. I, on the other hand, generally have a normal human middle ground opinion on it. Shocking, I know. I'm a part of the maybe 20% of players who go to Call of Duty primarily for the single player experience. I've had a hard time getting into the multiplayer since about Modern Warfare 2. I'm just saying all of this so you understand my thoughts on Black Ops 3. So how was the beta? Pretty incredible actually, I'm very impressed. For the last few days I've been playing those same 4 maps over and over, mostly in Kill Confirmed and Team Deathmatch, and I'm still hungry for more. There are certain moments that remind me why I don't usually play the multiplayer, but I'll get to that. First, the biggest change to the formula, which is the specialists. Instead of being a random soldier man or a custom warrior, you select a specialist. Think kind of like a hero in a MOBA. You start with Super Beard Man, the Demon Hunter from Diablo 3, Static Shock, and Captain Marvel, with four others to unlock. I'm joking, of course, but each specialist has their own special weapon and ability that run on a cooldown which is charged with kills. That mechanic sounds very familiar. What's better for how you play? A bow with exploding arrows? The lightning cannon that arcs from its initial target? Maybe the gravity spikes with their area of effect damage. Personally, I found success with the battery's kinetic armor. When it's ready to go, gold armor covers your body leaving only your head unprotected for a few seconds. Using this strategically can help you get some double and triple kills. Another change is that the melee is no longer one hit kill, at least not normally. The knife must now be equipped like a pistol or a riot shield. Only then can you stab your adversaries. Otherwise you'll use the butt of your gun which takes two hits. I think the biggest concern with Black Ops 3 was that it couldn't find its own identity since its setting is so similar to Advanced Warfare. I don't think you need to worry about that though. Visually Black Ops 3 is a bit more stylized with the color palette being noticeably brighter than games previous in the series. Movement is different enough too. You can't boost around to dodge stuff like you could in the previous game. Though you do have an extended jump, but it feels a lot more like the way it does in Destiny. Destiny seems to have a large impact on Black Ops 3. The specialist skills work exactly like the Guardian Supers. The first specialist you unlock, the Seraph, has a revolver that looks and works exactly like the Hunter's Golden Gun. Over the three days or so that I put into the beta, I only had two connection issues. On Saturday, there was a 10 minute stretch where I couldn't get into a match. Then on Sunday, I had one game that just fell apart after a minute of horrendous stutters. While most of my time with the beta was positive, I was reminded a few times why I normally dislike Call of Duty's competitive game. Every once in a while you get into a game where one team is completely dominating the other. Killstreaks lead to bombs and VTOLs that sometimes destroy you as soon as you spawn. The last thing a more skilled player needs is something in the sky getting them even more kills. For a lesser team, it becomes impossible to rally and make a comeback when you explode every time you go outside. I know in past games there were death streaks that tried to help you, but they were never really that useful. I had the distinct misfortune of being locked into a match of kill confirmed so one-sided that the winning team had stopped collecting tags and were just racking up points. They just kept killing and dropping bombs, and the only option the losing team had was to either just take the punishment or leave and forfeit their experience. Even when I'm on the winning team, I hate killstreaks and what they do to the game. A few minor concerns that I'm sure will be fixed in the final version, but I had anyway, were in the menus. Over time, when I dropped from a match or switched modes, I'd have to go back into the menu and mute everyone, sometimes in the middle of a match. Also, I frequently had my custom paint job on my guns reset. One last thing, your guns level up with use, which is cool, but I got the mana war to max and didn't really get anything for it. I'm sure in the final game you'll get like a special camo or something, it just felt a little weird. Anyway, I enjoyed the Black Ops 3 beta way more than I expected. Then again, maybe I shouldn't be so surprised. Treyarch has made some of the best games in the series for years now, and this beta definitely made this game go from, eh, I'll play it eventually, to being not far behind Fallout and The Phantom Pain as my most anticipated game of the fall.